The Western Arthur's Traverse is a hiking trail located in the heart of Tasmania's southwest wilderness. It's considered to be one of the toughest and most spectacular trails in Australia. I've had my eyes set on it for a long time, so when my mate Lockie invited me over to hike the Traverse, I couldn't say no. I wanted to make the most of my Tasmania trip, so I planned a route that would take me almost 250 kilometers through the remote southwest, connecting three multi-day walks. The Western Arthurs would mark the start of the journey, a 65 kilometer technical and mountainous route that would lead directly onto my second walk, the Port Davy track. A muddy 70 kilometers on the Port Davy would take me to the tiny settlement of Melaleuca, which also marks the start of the 85 kilometer South Coast track. It would be a massive undertaking with many challenges ahead, but I couldn't wait to get started. No. I'm in Tasmania, gonna be hiking a few long distance hikes over the next couple of weeks. Up first is the West Arthur Traverse, here with my man Lockie. We've got about 60 or 70 kilometers of mountainous trail over the next week before I head onto the Port Davy track. It should be a pretty epic adventure. Super remote, no reception, crazy heavy packs and a lot of technical steep climbing. So bring you along for the ride. It's gonna be a wild one, let's do it. We are about eight and a half kilometers in so far, and it's just been mud and more mud and river crossings and rain. Basically just water everywhere so far, which has made things pretty slow going, but still a lot faster than um, all of those mountains over there, which is what, what we'll be traversing over the next few days. If you're wondering what this shopping bag is for I'm lugging in a food drop because after I finish hiking the West Arthur Traverse with Lockie I'm going to go ahead and do the Port Davy track and then the South Coast track so I'll be on the trail for the next 15 days or so and so bringing in as much food as I can because I won't have a chance to get back to the car Super fun. We made it into camp after like 17 k's of hiking. Uh, we're, up, we're up on the ridge now. I haven't uh, talked to the camera for a while because it's been arctic cold, windy, rainy, wet. But we're in the most beautiful camp right now. Um, but the sun is well and truly set, so we're going to set up and then. Try and get if warm we can and sleep. Use our hands. <laughs> if we can even use our body. <laughs> oh. All right. Good morning. On day two of the West Arthur Traverse, uh, we are at Lake Cygnus here. Uh, we had a really good night's sleep last night after one of the most hectic hike-ins ever. <laughs> but we ended up pushing way past uh, Junction Creek campsite, which was the first campsite. We pushed up onto the ridge and then along the ridge and um, the weather was hectic. Day one done, we're gonna mosey around a bit this morning and then head off on our second day. Day two, let's go. We're off on day two of the West Arthurs. Uh, you can see behind me the lake that we stayed at last night, the campsite, absolutely stunning. We didn't really get much of a view coming in, but oh, beautiful, so our camp was just down there. And um, we're heading to a, a similar camp tonight, Lake Oberon. Oh, look at these views. Ah. 
snowing. It is snowing. Just casually down climbing a waterfall. Yeah. Middle of Tasmania. <laughs> Imagine being this first explorer is like mapping these ridges and checking them out for the first time. Yeah. Maybe even more of a growing like crazy. About halfway into day two, which is only a couple of kilometers. Um, but this place is spectacular. Absolutely extraordinary. Trail has been absolutely hectic though and um, super rugged, but the views are incredible. And we've had a lot of bad weather today, but also some calm moments like this. Oh boy. Is this the way? There's a lot of water. <laughs> oh, wow. Did it. Success. Tight. That's the peak we came over. Just fucking <laughs> two hours ago. Crazy. Oh my god. Oh what? That's Lake Oberon. Alright, we we're in view of Lake Oberon, which is our camp for day two, and it's pretty damn epic. Uh, it is by far the biggest lake we've seen up here so far and uh, I might zoom you in. Our camp is right there, so huge descent, um, but pretty damn stoked to be in view of it at least. This is crazy. Yeah, not much room. Bye bye, poles. <laughs> Room for error. No. <sighs> oh, this is so good. We finished setting up camp. Pretty luxury if you ask me. We've got the tents, we've got a tarp over the top and we're just getting some food on. Because we're starving, we didn't actually get to cook up a feed uh, last night because we got in super late and it was cold, we just wanted to get to bed, but got some hot food coming now. Bed set up, the love of life. Alright, this is day three and um, we've made the decision to actually chill here at Lake Oberon for a second night. Just because the weather's absolutely terrible, completely wide out, just been raining all night, all day so far. So we figure we may as well wait for tomorrow where the weather's going to hopefully improve according to the forecast. And we've got sort of a day or two uh, to spare anyway. Probably be a little bit boring chilling at camp for 24 hours with no reception or anything, but that's all good. We're... Um, Nice and warm in our tents at least. We've got a cool little setup here and uh, we'll head off tomorrow. Uh, what's up guys? We're at the end of day three now. We are still at Lake Oberon Camp. Um, just been chilling in our tents all day. The weather's been terrible. It's about 8 p.m. right now, so the sun's about to set. And I've just come out to stretch my legs because it stopped raining for like a few minutes. As you can see, the cloud, you, know, you don't get much visibility with this low cloud, but um, 
uh, at least we've got a, a moment without too much wind and rain, which has been what the majority of today has looked like. But um, I'm going to head back to my tent now. See you tomorrow morning. Day four. We've just woken up and the weather's looking a lot better. Can't really see it from here. So we're going to push on to Highmore Camp, hopefully, which is a bit of a... It's a bit of a higher camp, right? Yeah, it's a high camp, nice and exposed, but the, the hike there is a bit of rock climbing, a bit of scrambling, so good fun. Awesome. Coffees are coming. We just got our leg over and food drop. There's a few other hikers around and a bunch of them are actually turning back, so one of the guys just left us some food, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, we're gonna have coffee and brekkie and then scoot off. Day four begins, day three of hiking. Uh, we're just leaving our camp at Lake Oberon and the sun's actually just come out literally as we finish packing up. Fingers crossed us some good views and we'll bring you along for day four on the West Arthur's Traverse. Hell yeah. This is cool. Woo -hoo. Big jump. It's actually pretty dry, thank God. Yeah. Pretty spicy with the pack. So I've just climbed up this crack. Lachlan's coming up behind me. Probably the sketchiest part of the hike we've done so far. Basically just like a vertical crack, rock climb, but with heavy ass packs. And um, the view's good. Not that you're really looking at the view on the way through there, it's sketchy as. Seems more dangerous than. Oh no. Motherfucker. Where'd it go? Oh, I'll grab it. You sure? I can go. Ah. Uh, if you can point me in the right direction. How cool is this? It looks so sick. <laughs> oh my gosh. How is this even a hike? What is this? I mean, there's no way we're climbing down there. That can't be it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, that's not possible. I mean, this is the, the hole in the wall. Yeah. Jeez, how'd you get your bag through there by yourself? <laughs> what the heck? We've made it up to the first big summit of the day uh, from Lake Oberon. It took us forever to get up here and we're just like in the clouds now, traversing this ridge. Some super hectic parts. <laughs> But so much fun at the same time. <sighs> so the train's really slow as you guys know. Just to give you an idea of how slow. We've just crossed over one kilometre and it's been one hour. So we're moving at one kilometer per hour pace. And we're not dawdling either. Oh no. It's just so, so slow, but fun. <laughs> this is what's ahead of us. We've reached this one big summit and you can see the trail down there. 
<laughs> nice lake down there and then more mountains, mountains on mountains and uh, the clouds are making some pretty moody scenes. Absolutely incredible views. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Wow. Two kilometers in, which is about halfway for the day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've been going for about two and a half hours. About to climb up to the next big peak though. Beautiful, beautiful, but brutal as well. But we're getting there. half a kilometer to camp and this is our view insane we've made it to camp this is high moor high camp there's some massive platforms here plenty of room for a ton of tents and we'll definitely be joined by a few people tonight but stoked to make it in about five kilometers done and just under five hours to do it so it's been a it's been a grind today but all worth it when you get to camp Ooh. ready for a feed and then uh you maybe get a good sunset up here who knows all right we've just finished setting up lucky has built a mansion with his little tarp he's got a pergola on the tent i've got some friends from canberra over here and uh Got some blue skies and some pretty epic views. So all that's left is to cook up a feed and um, hopefully get some color on the sky for sunset. That'd be cool. Take some photos and um, have a good night rest for another day on the track tomorrow. I've just hiked up to this viewpoint, um, a little ways away from camp. Crazy views. So we've come along all of these ridge lines and then uh, yeah, set up here at Highmore Camp. And then tomorrow and the next day, we're going along all of these before eventually descending and then coming all the way out along the floor here. And that's where we parked, so pretty crazy. Um, long way to go, but it's all worth it when you get views like this. Dinner number two. Just come up here for sunset back up to the peak that we descended down into camp. Wow, look at that. We are up on day five. We actually got up for sunrise, which was about four hours ago at this point. And um, it was beautiful, but we came back and, and had another nap <laughs> afterwards. Another four or five hour push to what, what will be our last campsite up on the ridge, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, we're just kind of relaxing because we don't have to leave camp until whenever we want. It's only a four or five hour walk and um, we've got another 12 hours of daylight. So just chilling and we'll be off soon. Day five has begun. Another four or five Ks to our next campsite. The last few days have all been relatively short in distance, but it doesn't mean they're easy. Hectic trails with hectic views. And um, yeah, we're pretty keen to get to Haven Lake campsite, ready for another day. Another beautiful sunny, blue sky day. Let's do it.
it's so sketch. There's like a, I don't know, 40 meter drop just over the edge there. Like one small slip and you are down in that gully and not feeling very well. But we're walking with some epic views. It's a lake just there, mountains everywhere. Federation peak off in the distance, which is pretty hectic. I'm not doing that on this trip, but we'll come back for it. Um, that's so beautiful. But taking it slow, being very precise with the footing so we don't send it off that edge. Oh, crap. Hectic. Big drop. Bit of acrobatics to get down here. Slippery as heck. Yeet. Thank God for these big ass trees. What the heck? <laughs> this part's pretty, pretty cool. Full monkeying. These roots are sick though. About two kilometers in today, and we've got, we've had a lot of this kind of thing where it's just climbing down with the packs, trying to keep your balance. Straight down here, and then we're going up onto those ridges, which you can see through there pretty nicely. And this is the easy part. We're just going up our final climb and all the way down there, all the way up here, all the way up. And then I think we're descending down into Lake Haven, which is our camp for the night. But it's actually really hot today, which is a stark contrast from the last few days. And um, yeah, it's a whole new challenge in the heat. That's for sure. Whew. We finally spotted Haven Lake just over there. So we're gonna traverse here and follow that trail. And we're there. Woo Almost there, baby. Snake. Made it into Haven Lake Camp. There is Haven Lake just behind us. Uh, almost five hours on the trail today. Um, just as brutal as the last couple of days. So much vert, so much technicality, so much fun. Um, but yeah, luckily no injuries. Although I did snap one of my hiking poles, which is devastating. Because as you guys know, I'm gonna be hiking the Port Davey and South Coast tracks after we finish the West Island Traverse, which would be nice to have some poles for. So, a bit bummed about that, but not bummed about the views. I'll go for a swim in Savo, have a big feed, and um, yeah, day five done. We've been waiting all day for this. Actually, I've been waiting all week to have a warm enough day to swim in one of these high lakes. So, Haven Lake it is. It is very cold though, but we're doing it.
Whoa. Oh, you gotta go. Five, three, three. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Alrighty, we've set up camp a couple hours till sunset, so probably just gonna chill out here for a bit. Um, but pretty keen for dinner, which I'll be cooking up very soon. And um, yeah, another early night in uh, for a big day tomorrow. We're gonna try and push out all the way back to Junction Creek uh, tomorrow, which is yeah where we came in on the first day. So pretty crazy to be looping back around after six days on trail. It's about a 22 kilometer push, so a big day, but. Um, a lot of it's flat, so it should be, should be doable with an early start. Dinner served, day five. What do you got, Lucky? I have Moroccan pork from mm. Camper's Pantry. Moroccan pork. Double serve. Double serve Moroccan pork. I got beef teriyaki, pretty stoked. There's my yellow pea water. Um, we're happy men though. Big feeds and then big sleep. We are off on day six of the West Arts Traverse and it is our last day on the West Arts Traverse. We are probably got a couple hours left up on the on the mountains and then we are descending down and heading back to Junction Creek campsite, which is where we'll camp tonight and um, we'll part ways. But yeah, it's been incredible. Looking forward to a few more good views uh, with this nice weather today and then um, and off for the next adventure. Let's climb, baby. Big drop. About a kilometre into our sixth day. And it's been a bit easier going so far than the last couple of days, but still plenty of climbing. We actually just climbed over that peak all the way down to the valley, up onto this peak, and then incredible views of our trail heading up that peak. Some lake and creeks here. Pretty epic. Just gonna be backwards climbing this. Oh, crap. Don't wanna slip on our last day up here. <laughs> That's so loose. Yeah. And it's all just a little bit wet, for good measure. Wow, what a view. <sighs> we found some snow. Very long descent, but because oh, we got good weather today, the views on the whole way down are just epic. What a way to end! What a way to end the West Arthur's Traverse! Wow. We've officially descended the Western Arthur's. We're moving super quick now that we're down on the flats, which is cool. West and Arthur's Traverse complete. Pretty hard to believe that we ticked off however many of those mountains and that whole ridge line over the last six days. What an incredible journey. I've just said goodbye to Lachlan. He's heading back to Hobart and then flying home to Perth. I've still got at least eight days of hiking ahead of me and um, tomorrow morning I'm hitting the Port Davy track, which I'm super keen for. I have just finished setting up camp here. Um, my clothes are hanging up. I did some washing down at the stream just before and um, had a little bit of a bath as well, which was absolutely lovely. 
the weather today has been pristine so nice and warm can get everything dry and clean before i head onto the muddy track uh, on the port davies tomorrow but uh, thank you so much for following along on our western arthur's traverse adventure um, the port davy track will be in the next youtube video so stay tuned for that one for me it's going to be back to back to back um, western arthur's port davy south coast uh, but you guys for you guys there'll be a bit of time between each youtube video so stay tuned for the next one um, hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun i'm not sure what the weather forecast is but i'll just take what comes at me pretty damn excited Make sure to like this video guys if you enjoyed it helps out my youtube channel a ton and subscribe as well if you want to catch the rest of this tasmanian trip uh, here on youtube or any of my other adventures massively appreciate that um, other than that guys thanks again for watching and uh, i'll catch you in the next one Cheers.